hello there and welcome to Stamping with Val and my latest card tutorial video. I've got a gorgeous card to share with you today. Here it is. This is the card I'm going to be sharing with you today. Now I don't know about you but all my best ideas for card making and crafting and what have you happen when I've gone to bed. Okay, I lay there, my husband's fast asleep, and I lay there thinking, oh, that's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that before? And before I know it, my brain is full of card designs and I'm not getting to sleep at all. Okay, one such bright idea that I had last night when I should have been sleeping is this fun edge here. Now, I don't know if any of you recognise it. Um, what happened was I was mooching around on Pinterest yesterday evening before I went to bed. That was probably the mistake I made. Um, and I saw um, somebody who had used the edge lit framelit, the edging framelit from those new floral, um, detailed floral framelits. You know, the ones where I made the card with all the floral background. She'd used this just as an edge, just as a funky, groovy edge for her sentiment. She hadn't used the detailed ones at all. She'd just used that as a, as a fun edge. And she'd got it this way round on her card. And I was like, oh, that, that's a good idea just to use that as an edge. But do you know what that looks like to me? To me, that looks like clouds. Okay, that looks like the top of clouds. And from there, my brain just went really. Um, so I've used that framelit to cut this fun edge that's then the top of my clouds and I've used um, framelits from the Weather Together collection for clouds. I've used the Swirly Bird stamps for kites and um, I think this is from Mixed Borders. I wouldn't normally use so many different stamp sets and what have you. Sometimes normally I would like to stick to one, maybe two stamp sets. I can understand why it's it could get expensive if you've got lots of different things on your card that you've got to buy to make it. Um, but sometimes when you just allow yourself to use whatever, um, sometimes that's when the magic can happen. And I absolutely adore this card. I love how that edge came out as the top of my clouds. And I love it so much that I only actually made this an hour ago and I decided I needed to film a video immediately to show you guys how to make it. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to need a card base. This is Pool Party. So it's a sheet of A4 cut lengthwise down the short side, scored through the middle, folded in half. We don't actually need that till the end though, so you can put it to one side. We're also going to need a piece of white card. This is the thick um, Whisper White A4. This is going to be the, our cloud panel, effectively. This is the same size as the front of the card base. So for in the UK, that's 10.5 centimetres by 14.85. Um, Americans, I think you're looking at about 5.5 inches by 4.25, something like that. But it's the same size as the front, basically. And we're going to bring the big shot in. We're going to cut that cloud edge. And we're going to die su cut some clouds out of it as well. So let's move that to one side and bring the big shot in. So here we are, here's my big shot, here's my piece of white card and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut that cloudy edge. Okay, I'm going to cut it fairly close to the top, try and get my die straight. Okay, pop that on there whiz that through. And there we go, straight away we've got that cloudy top to our to piece of card. So we don't need that. We are going to use the large cloud. This is from, let's have a look, Umbrella Weather, Umbrella Weather Framelits this is from. We're going to use this to die cut ourselves a couple of clouds into our clouds. So let's go ahead and pop one on there. And I'll go through and come back and that saves me moving the big shot all the time. 
Do you find that when you they're first new, save your cloud, you can use it on another project, they're sort of sticky out of the packet and then they stick to the plates. I don't know if you find that. I found that. I'm going to turn the die up the other way for my second cloud, I think, anyway. I'm going to position this one on the other side and a little bit lower. And we'll run this one through as well. Okay. So there we go. There's our cloudy background. Okay. To go with that, we're also going to need another scrap of white. This is the thick again. And using the small cloud die from those umbrella weather, we're going to die cut three clouds. Three small clouds. So there's one. I'm going to stamp on mine afterwards. But if you wanted, you could stamp the clouds first and then die cut them afterwards so you match them, frame it up with the stamped image. That's absolutely fine. There's no, I'm just doing it this way because I've already got the big shot out. And the third cloud. Okay, there we go. Right then, keep that bit of card. You're going to need that to do some stamping on in a bit. There's our three clouds. Let's finish with the big shot so that can go. Right then. And then I'm going to bring in a bit of paper that we can stamp on. So we'll start with our clouds. I'm going to get them all the same way up. Well, that's the plan anyway. There we go. I'm going to find my cloud stamp. And for this, I'm going for blue. I think if you want um, it to look like a rainy day, I think um, grey is better. But I don't want it to necessarily look like a rainy day. I don't want it to be wet. I just want it to be sort of cloudy, windy for my kites and what have you. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try and line this up. But the video gets in the way. There we go. Oh, it's a bit off. It's okay. I'm going to... Bring them down. I don't suppose you can see them now. But You're going to do a better job than me, okay? So that's Paul Party Link that I've stamped the small cloud from the um, Weather Together stamp set. Okay, so we've got those. Now we can go ahead and start stamping some of our other elements. Okay. So using a couple of um, images from the Swirly Bird stamp set, we're going to stamp up a couple of kites. So I've got the half of the kite that's the, the solid side, and I'm going to stamp one in pool party, like that. And then while I've got that solid stamp out, I'm also going to stamp one with Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just doing the pale colours first while I've got the stamp out. So let's stamp that there. Okay. And then I'm going to switch that stamp for the striped half of the kite. And this fills in the gaps and gives you the kite shape. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a Bermuda Bay bit to go with the pool party one. Don't do that. You've got ink everywhere. That's messy. So that fills in the gap, okay? So line it up. Okay, and that gives you the other half. And then for the flirty flamingo one, I'm going to use watermelon, watermelon wonder. So, okay. There we go. Okay. And then we just need to quickly go ahead and trim these out. There's no die for these. It's just, it's all straight edges. So, okay. I'm going to leave a tiny white board around them. Not very big though. There's one. And there's two. 
Okay, get rid of the bits. Now we actually need our cloudy panel back in and we can start to think about how we're going to put all of our elements together and then stamp the bits that go directly onto this. So our clouds are going to um, pop sort of over our other clouds, like so. Okay. Our kites are going to come into this gap here, sort of get some jaunty angles going, have a play around with the space that you've got. So obviously it depends where you've put your clouds. And then once you're happy with those, we need some string for the kites. I'm going to stamp that with a uh, smoky slate, which is the pale grey. So I'm going to start off with the one for the Bermuda kite. So that's going to come down sort of this way. So once I'm happy that I know where it's going to go, I'm going to shift the kite out of the way and put that down. So my kite's going to go on it like that. And then I'm going to turn it around the other way up actually. And I'm going to do the same with this one, but I'm going to overlap the strings. And I'm going to pull this one down a little bit. About sort of there. Okay. So then my kites would go on the ends of my strings like that. I'm happy with those. It's hard to see the white background. I'm sorry about that. Then I want some little bows on the tails of my kite. So on the tail of the Bermuda, uh, sorry, on the water, the pink one, I'm going to add Bermuda bows. So one, two. And then on the Bermuda kite, I'm going to add watermelon bows. Give that just a quick clean off. One, two. There we are. Those are good. Finally, before we start just sticking it all together, we want a sentiment. My sentiment is from the new Mixed Borders stamp set. Okay, this one. Okay. Um, I got this because I absolutely love the fonts in the sentiments. This actually, this is at 80%. So the font, the um, sentiment itself is actually much bigger than what you see on the front cover. As you can see inside, they're actually much larger. And I just love the combination of the bold and then the um, font like that. So I'm using the birthday one. And I'm actually going to stamp this in basic grey. So this is the dark grey. This is quite an old ink pad, so I'm going to give mine a really good ink up because it's probably not seen a re-inker in quite some time. Okay, and this is going to go. I want the end of the tail of the G to sort of fall into where my kite tails overlap. Into that sort of gap there, making sure I've got it all straight. Straight down, good press, straight back up, not bad. So now we can see about assembling our card. And to assemble it, we just need a whole bunch of dimensionals. I love stamping dimensionals. So we're going to put one on the back of each cloud. One. I'm going to switch that one over here just because where the dimensionals ended up to and you'll see in a minute what I mean by that and then this one I like the clouds just overlapping the die cut clouds but I like the dimension that the die cut clouds give you we're going to want to pop a dimensional on the back of each kite So, and I like the fact that this kite just dips over the edge of this cloud too. And then finally, we just need a whole bunch of dimensionals on the back of here so that we can attach it to our base card. So because we've cut holes in it, I want a little bit of support 
around the cloud so I'm going to put a few around there if you can see because you've got holes here the reason I said about moving the cloud was because the dimensional would actually poke through here it's not the end of the world if it happens it happened on my original card um, but since I happened to think of it I changed it over so I'm going to bung a whole load on there how many you use is up to you quickly whip the backs off Sometimes I challenge myself to see how many backs I can get off before I've missed that one, before I have to put them down. Sad, isn't it? Okay, so back in with the pool party base card and then lining the bottom up, with the bottom of my panel and then up we go. And there we have it using that detailed floral thinlets edgelet to create the fun look of clouds on my kite card. But then also using the exact same um, layout, I created this card. So this card, I stuck with the weather together. So instead of using several different stamp sets like I had done there, I stuck with one stamp set, the weather together stamp set that coordinates with the framelits. I think you can get the two together as a bundle. And this one, I've done a wishing you brighter days card. So I've used the umbrella, we've got some rain, we've got those clouds. I've used a grey base this time because I wanted a rainy look as opposed to the blue. This time also I've stamped the um, large cloud through the hole onto the background. So you've just got that extra little bit of dimension. I didn't do it for that one, but I did it for this one. But the exact same card, exact same layout okay fun cloud look for your cards i hope you've enjoyed today's video um it's been a bit rushed but i wanted to share this card with you because i thought it was so fun and i'll be back soon with a new project so till then bye